Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. Uh, the timing is fluid, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have? What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? For tomorrow? Or right around the end. The timing is fluid, but I feel like it's very soon, like tomorrow. Uh, things are happening uh, right in line. Okay, right, right, right. Uh, oh, I guess the energy is, is pretty um, current. I guess that's the rest, best word for it. Uh, for me, these readings are playing out like pretty quick. Pretty quick. So... What do we have? What do we have for a message today? Not, not every reading even resonates with me, though. So keep that in mind. I can do a reading, and sometimes it has nothing to do with my life. So that's kind of funny how that works as well. Anyway, I see, I see a rainbow, which means the difficulty is over. Somebody has been through uh, some sort of stormy weather, okay? It may have poured, okay? But now the sun is out, so... You know, this it's interesting. That is very interesting because I, I feel like there's peace. A pe maybe there's a peaceful resolution or, you know, we think of the rainbow. What's at the end? Everybody knows what's at the end of the rainbow. Pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow. But it's not easy to get to that pot of gold. You've got to find that pot of gold. It's going to be a journey to get to that pot of gold. You might have to, you might have to go through some turbulence to get that pot of gold, right? You know, it's not going to be easy. Obviously, there's going to be some twists and turns and you might get lost along the way to get to that pot of gold because it's obviously it's far away and you got to you got to overcome some sort of hardship to get there. So I feel like, yes, there's a pot of gold. It's waiting for you to find it and it's in reach. It's in reach. All you got to do is take those steps. You go got to go down that path. That's kind of scary. You know, it's kind of scary or it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of ins and outs, you know, there's a lot of um, uncertainty along the way as well, but you got to keep going. So I feel like, yeah, there's, there's interesting. So what do we have? What do we have? Four of Wands reversed. We have somebody here that is not happy. The Four of Wands reversed. They're not happy about a commitment. They're not happy about um, a partnership of some sort with this Four of Wands, they're, you know, because they're just... This is a partnership or a, a marriage or a commitment. They're not happy. So we have somebody here that um, they may have ended up alone or they ended up in a situation. They were thinking they were going to get into a commitment and it didn't work out. But, it, but when this card comes out, it's like there's still an opportunity for this commitment. Okay, there could be a relationship that is about to be commit, be more committed. Somebody may have, may have been afraid of commitment or they may have uh, rejected something, but now it's coming back around. That's what it feels like to me. And it could happen unexpectedly. I f this is about a, a, an unexpected commitment. Okay, that could be coming. I'm not sure. Now, this is um, a marriage card and it's reversed. So... Let's get a card to go with that. Change. Wheel of Fortune. Somebody could be dealing with an Empress because when when I see this card on this deck, this looks like the Empress. So we could be somebody could be dealing with somebody that is um obviously this person is very beautiful. This person um may bring some sort of good fortune, good luck into their life. This person is obviously very abundant, very happy. Um, but this is a cycle that is coming to an end as well. And a new cycle as is beginning, a new cycle of life is beginning. Um, this is a positive change. Somebody is, is changing their, maybe they're getting a new vision. They're getting a new vision. Um, this is a positive, positive, positive change. I know that it is. Life is always changing. Now, this is this is like this could be like an unexpected. This is very unexpected. The Four of Wands in reverse. There's like some unexpected opportunity. This is very fortunate. Um, 
and um, let me see. Queen of Swords reversed. Now, the Queen of Swords reversed is somebody that is hard to deal with, okay? The Queen of Swords in reversed is somebody who is very upfront, very forthright, same thing, very matter-of-fact. It may seem a little brash. She doesn't put up with any bullshit. She will not take any bullshit. She is, um, she can seem a little harsh. So, we have this, this Queen that may have some... Some bitterness. She may be have some bitterness inside of her. She may have some fear. Okay, this person may seem like she is a bitch, and she is a bitch because she has been hurt in the past. She's been hurt by a past commitment, or a past partnership, or a past marriage, or a person that she was committed to in the past has really betrayed her and hurt her to the point where now she's cold and she's ungiving. She doesn't, she doesn't give, she gives, she gives, but, um, she can just seem a little harsh. She, she gives the truth and it's the cold, hard truth. And she, she's very protective of herself. So a very protective queen here. Maybe she's looking for a commitment. She hasn't received a commitment. She won't settle for anything less than a commitment. This is a change, though. It's a positive change. It's a rebirth. We have a rebirth here. So, hmm. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is total ruin. It is total ruin. Um, Short-lived success. A huge loss. The Ten of Pentacles reverse is a huge loss. Somebody uh, has lost something that had potential for security and stability and long-term permanence. Okay? It was something to do with a commitment. They may have lost a long-term commitment. Then maybe they pissed somebody off. The Queen of Swords in reverse is a pissed off woman. Okay? They may have pissed off somebody. And maybe, you know, they've lost their chance or they think they have lost their chance for a commitment. Um, we could have somebody that is having financial problems as well. Uh, let me get another card to go with that. The Empress reversed. Woo! Woo! So we definitely have a pissed off woman here. We have a pissed off woman, the Empress in Reversed, and the Queen of Swords here. I mean, the Empress in Reversed is a woman that is pissed off. She is uh, not going to give. She's not giving, okay? She's not going to give any... Uh, she may be selfish, okay? We may have somebody here that is selfish, or she's um, possessive. She is possessive. And she's jealous, okay? The, the Empress in Reversed is possessive and jealous. And she can be a little self-centered. She can be self-centered. She's obviously in some sort of pain. This is pain and this is pain. She has, she's, she's suffering some sort of pain over a commitment. A previous commitment that didn't last. That didn't last. There could be some sort of... Um, change for some of you. This could be, I'm changing this up a minute because I feel like we have an absent mother here. This is an absent mother. And this absent mother could be losing it all, okay? This, and I'm just being honest with you, okay? Because this is lose, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is losing it all. This is a mother that doesn't take care of her children. She doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take care of business. She is very needy. She is very uh, mean. She's mean-spirited. She's a nasty uh, bitch, okay? So we may have this individual here that is uh, losing it all. This is losing it all. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is, is, is a family feud of some sort. So I wonder if there's been some sort of family feud or there's a change in the family. Um, setting up false impressions. Somebody has been, you know, pretending. They've been pretending that they're all that. They've been pretending that they're, you know, well put together and they're not. But this is a change. This is a positive change in circumstances. It's a, it is. So let's see what we got over here. 
strength. Wow. So this is a card of finding the strength to master your emotions and move forward. Um, let go of fear. There's no fear here. We have somebody here that is very gentle and kind and uh, they put off a very good vibration. We have a high vibrational being over here. We do. We do. There's there's no fear. There's nothing to be afraid of. Um, this This strength card is a card of confidence, courage, mastering of emotions, being calm, being fearless. Five of Cups reverse, seeing a new opportunity. Somebody has a new opportunity here with somebody that is beautiful. This is, remember, I said this, this somebody that is absolutely beautiful. This person is kind. This person um, is mothering. This, per this person is uh, happy. So we got a, we got a, we got a, we got a, a nasty individual over here. And we got a happy, sweet, kind person over here. So, and it's funny because of this is like a choice. We got, we do because we got two over here and a two over here, which is choices. So we have somebody here that's in the process of making a choice or they're about to experience a big change because this is a change. This cycle of of uh, lack of commitment or being in this state of mind where you were angry and upset and didn't the queen of or the empress in reversed is a feminine that doesn't know her value she doesn't know her worth okay she's she settles for less than she deserves um she's been belittled she's she she's lacked self confidence she is easy you know she's a, this is an easy individual who doesn't know her value she really doesn't know her value this individual hasn't been able to find a commitment, but perhaps there's been some sort of positive change or something. Maybe they have found their confidence. So this can go, we could go all day with just these cards and I could change this story 10 times. We have somebody here that is starting to stop focusing on the pain that they, that hurt them, that caused them to be bitter. And they're and it's like they're healing because this is a card of healing. They're healing and they're and things are changing in a positive manner. And they're starting to realize that there is a better opportunity. They were, they were either, they were dealing with a nasty individual. If you are a masculine in the past that didn't take care of them, didn't take care of the children or whatever, or it was themselves that just didn't know their value and was, you know, whorish you know, this person, and now they're, now they're changing, they're changing their ways, that cycle of hate and despair and anguish and not knowing your worth and, and dealing with the other person that was, uh, nasty is over because it's over because now it's realizing that there's another opportunity. It's finding the courage to start this new cycle. Somebody has done a lot of healing and they're in a very positive mindset very, very positive. We have a very positive individual here. This positive individual has went through some sort of heartache they have with the Five of Cups. They have been grieving. They have been through something that really, really, really hurt them. But now they have, they have found their courage and their confidence and their willpower and their worth. Eight of Wands. Now this is a message. This is an unexpected. I know this is an unexpected change. This is destiny. This destined change here. The wheel is spinning in a positive manner. Now the Eight of Wands is is uh, news arriving. So this is a message arriving or news arriving. Very positive news. It's upright. Good news. Very good news. And this is this is exciting. It is exciting. So somebody is going to be receiving some good news that is definitely going to make them happy. Two of Pentacles. Um, what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. All right, whenever I see that. Um, There's definitely about to be a change. There's there's geometric powers. Uh, there are there's geometric powers at work here that are larger than ourselves. 
Okay, it's larger than us. This is this is this is uh, destiny. It's fate. There's a fated change of of course here. There is something. This is a change. What is going on here? Let me just see what that is. Sorry. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is a change. It's a good change. Somebody is is going to be needing to be flexible, needing to adapt to a change. There's a change, a positive change that is coming. Mm -hmm. This is about balance. You're going to need to balance something. It's like now that you have balanced out your emotions, that's what it is. That's what this is. Now that you have balanced out your emotions and you are, are you have healed quite a bit from this past hurt, there's another opportunity for love that is coming in. And this opportunity for love is coming in fast. This is the Rods of Love and this Knight of Cups. So we do have uh, messages that are coming in, an opportunity for love. Um, a new relationship, somebody is looking for a relationship, this is a romantic, this is somebody that is has some sort of feelings, they're ready for a change, they're ready to make some changes, they're ready for something positive in their life. So we do definitely have a positive change here. Somebody is is coming in with with an offer. They're coming in with an offer of love, and they're and they're they're it's like they're opening their heart. This is this is the Knight of Cups. It's like and I think it's very sudden. I do think it's very sudden, but I do feel like there's some sort of destiny here. There is some sort of destined thing. Even I do. I feel like this is destiny. It's like. This is meant to happen. This is, a, this is a relationship that is meant to happen. And it's happening right now at the right time. This is the right time for this to happen. So somebody, it could be running into somebody. They could be running into somebody or they're receiving a message from somebody or messages. This, this is a destined opportunity. It's destiny. It is definitely with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, somebody is beginning to realize they are beginning to realize that there's an opportunity for love with somebody that is very, very beautiful. This person is beautiful. This person is strong. This person is strong. This person knows their value and knows their worth. But this person has also been through uh, a very painful experience that probably made them bitter and they needed time to heal. And they maybe they still need a little bit of time. I'm not sure. But I feel like... Uh, this is a very positive change of uh, uh, events here. There is somebody flying in and, and they're messaging. They're messaging. They're interested. They're coming fast. They are coming fast. They're, they're moving fast. Um, it looks to me as though they're ready to make some changes. They are. They're ready to do whatever it takes by the looks of things. Uh, this person um, that is coming in sees an opportunity with somebody that is very balanced Somebody that is worthy, somebody that um, is very strong. We have a very strong individual here, and this guy that is coming in is is looking for love. He's looking for love. He's ready for love, and he's like, you know, this is like coming back around. So I think this is somebody coming back around. Somebody is coming back around that they may have not put in effort. Okay, to, because of commitment, maybe they were afraid because this is fear and this is letting go of fear. So somebody may have been afraid of commitment or afraid of marriage or afraid of, I don't know what, but um, now they're, this is coming back around some, a relationship or somebody, you know, perhaps there, there, there's been some abandonment in the past or this, this uh, there's been some, some sort of hurt in the past with the five of cups. And now, it, now they're coming back around. So, you know, I feel like somebody that you know, where they, you know, it's the one that got away. It is. It's the one that got away, you know, coming back around. Somebody coming back around, that kind of, that's what it is. So be prepared for somebody to come back around and, and, and message or contact or something like that. Um... This is the rods of love. It is. The eight of wands is the rods of love that hit you. 
somebody may be falling in love, okay? Maybe they've fallen in love and they realize it because this is realizing the Five of Cups reversed. But they've had some sort of fear. But maybe now they realize this is meant to be because the Wheel of Fortune is about meant to be. So, you know, something is happening that is very positive. I feel like we have somebody uh, that is headed in very, very fast. This is somebody that is coming back around. Good luck.